Hey Tribers, I want to walk you through seven transformations of freelancer to become an entrepreneur. Focus, build your habitat in the right way because your habitat will create your habits. Practice like a warrior and don't follow your feelings. Also, implement really fast. Speed, speed of implementation is the king. Raise your standards and invest in yourself. Those are the seven transformations I want to talk to you about today. The reason why I'm making this video is because I make so many videos about systems funnels, leveraging your team, but we're not talking enough about mindsets of converting from freelancing to entrepreneurship. Without those mindset shifts, you won't be able to succeed in the long run. So please hear me out what I have prepared for you here. By the way, watch this video until the end because at the end I will have a special surprise for you. Mindset shift number one. Focus, 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 focus. Most of the freelancers or starting entrepreneurs focus on the wrong thing. They are focusing on things like building their brand. But actually, your brand doesn't matter at all. They're focusing on things like building their CRM system, whereas they could just use Google Spreadsheets to build a simple system that they could replicate later. They maybe focus on things outside of the scope of work, like finding their happiness or losing weight, whereas those aspects of their life don't matter as much right now because once they make the revenue, once they have the money, the money will solve most of their problems because they will be able to afford to buy their time back to focus on those aspects of life. They focus on social media, whereas they could install Chrome extensions to block their feeds so they don't get distracted. They essentially have certain energy, money, and time capacity, and they have it as their troops. Now, what they do is they try to get the small amount of troops that they have to attack four, five, six, seven, eight, ten different aspects of business and their life. In reality, this is a very, very bad strategy that will most likely not work for you. What's smarter is to dominate, to attack one problem at the time. Gain resources, get them on your side, and once you do that, you can dominate, attack other problems. So how do you know what you should focus on? How do you know what is your problem? Well, you know what is your problem by identifying your bottlenecks. So where is the bottleneck in your business? Where does the stream doesn't flow? Find your bottleneck and I can tell you that in 80% of the cases, your bottleneck is your lead generation and sales. So focus 80% of your time on lead generation and sales. Don't focus your energy and time on anything else. Get leads, get them on a call. Pick up the phone and start dialing. Learn sales, close sales, make customers happy, repeat. This is your focus. But the key thing here is to understand that you shouldn't drain your energy on all sorts of other things. The second mindset shift <laughs> the second mindset shift is that your habitat equals your habits. Whatever you surround yourself with will create your business habits. So create right environment. And what is your environment? This is the people you surround yourself with, your physical environment, and your schedule. So create physical environment that is bright, clean, and great place to work. Cut off all the negative people from your life who don't believe in your success radically. It's going to be hard because it might be that you have to cut off your parents, maybe your best friends, maybe even your partner. 
but you need people around you who believe in your success because you're the average of the five people you spend most of your time with and if you're the smartest person in the room then you are in the wrong room then in regards to your schedule you need to live by your calendar schedule your day accurately and focus first on scheduling money-making activities and customer success time with the proportion of around 80 percent focusing on your bottleneck which is money-making activities this is gonna be around six hours a day focus time on money-making activities which is lead generation working on building your funnels such as developing new funnel like setting up LinkedIn funnel or setting up your Upwork profile or working inside the funnel so answering Upwork messages sending messages inside of LinkedIn and so on <laughs> Okay, I have to take this off. I feel a little bit too hot. Next, practice. I got this from kickboxing. Actually, when we go kickboxing, we exercise kind of the same technique every single time and we just get 1% better. And this is really how business works. It's repeating something that works. So just practice and implement and get 1% better. You're not gonna get magically working funnel within a day or two. It might take you a month to develop this, but you have to keep persistent, improving this every day and just getting 1% better. This way, by practicing, you will eventually make the whole system work. So practice every four areas of your business, lead generation, sales, project management, and the delivery. At the beginning, focus on lead generation and sales, Practice as much as necessary to get leads. Once you get leads, practice as much as necessary to get sales and so on and so forth. And believe in your numbers. Don't follow your feelings. Repeat what works. Once you have a funnel that has been proven to work and you got invested a certain amount of time to get certain results, then just repeat because you don't really have to reinvent the wheel anymore. The same if instructors in Tribe Mastermind say, hey, this is the funnel, this is how this works, this is how I've implemented this, this is the resources it took me to de develop this, then most likely it will take you the same amount of time resources if you repeat this. So just believe in the numbers. Trust your data. Copy paste what works. Implement fast. Don't overthink. Don't try to make everything perfect. Business doesn't work that way. You want to implement as fast as possible, fail and improve. This is how you learn. You, um, what's the word? Improvise, you adjust, you overcome. <coughs> Raise your standards. We tend to achieve our lowest acceptable standards versus our goals. So raise your lowest acceptable standards, stop accepting the situation of where you are right now and draw this line much higher, then live up to those expectations. And lastly, invest in yourself. You can grow your business and keep increasing by 10, 20% a year. You can just grow this way a linear, in a linear way or you can invest in yourself. If you invest in, let's say, new funnel, you're gonna have less money for this investment, but then your business will be growing in the same way. So not much will change on the micro scale if this investment will not pay off. Now, if this investment will pay off, instead of growing with 10% slope, you'll start growing with the second funnel so the slope will be much steeper. So in the macro scale, this investment will pay off because if you look at, let's say, two-year perspective, you will grow much, much farther. So understand that you might lose with investments, but investing is absolutely crucial to invest in yourself, in new funnels, in coaching, in things that develop your business so that you are increasing 
the steepness steep of the slope because on the macro scale it will make massive impact <laughs> here is a special surprise for you surprise you can now receive the free copy of my book that I was selling for $30 you can message me and I'll send you this free copy of the book for free now for those of you who pre-ordered my book in the past year now I made updates to this book and now in this video I was just reviewing the first chapter of this new edition of the book for anyone who pre-ordered the book before you can message me now and I will send you the updated chapters of the book for free as well now for those of you who didn't pre-order the book I will not send you yeah that's complicated <laughs> Feel the life and feel our heart.